I'm Sharon Madsen. Welcome to Council Update. Today we're going to talk about pavement management and improvements to County Road 19 and East Point Douglas Road. Joining me is Council Member Lorraine Mills. Now in September, Council Member, Council declared costs on both of these projects. That is correct. We did declare um, costs on both of these projects and um, first off, uh, it's kind of exciting to say that uh, the costs came in below estimates. Yes, that's always So a that good puts news. us in a good place. Yes. Yes. So pavement management, there were three areas in the city that were completed this year. Yes, we had rolling hills, um, which would be third, sixth, and seventh, which is considered District B1. Yes. And uh, those proposed assessments uh, came in at, um, at $2,320, which is well below the the estimate. So our residents are going to see uh, a smaller bill in that particular right. case. And then that, um, the RBLE, which is what that is, that dollar amount was for, that is the overall cost of the project is divided by the number of properties Correct. in the area. Correct, correct. And then we had another one, which is the J Jamaica Ridge um, area, mm -hmm. and that one also came in under. So um, the final assessment was $2,350 uh, for the RBLE, and uh, so that's well below also the, the uh, the engineer's estimate on that too. Wonderful. And then the last area was District B1. Yes, the Rolling Hills, fourth and fifth. And um, that one did also come in under. So uh, residents there will see um, assessment of $4,485 per residential buildable lot equivalent. Yes, and then an, excess, an assessment public hearing was set for October 4th. So anyone that wishes to come before council on the assessments can do so on that date. Correct. And then at the September 20th meeting, Council declared costs on the County 19 and East Point Douglas Road improvement project. Yes, yes. And so in that, that project also came in below. Um, and it's very exciting to see this start coming together. And now it is. it's open. So we can even, uh, not to 61. Correct. But uh, we can do the roundabout and take the East Point Douglas Road. And so we can start to see that coming together there. So what was done with this project? Yep. So we ended up, um, that project once completed is going to have six legs on a roundabout, which I know some residents kind of say, oh, a roundabout, but mm -hmm. the roundabouts do um, come in cost effectively yes. and they are actually safer than doing like a four-way stop or even a light. Yes. So um, it's nice to see that. There are also complete completed with that will also be um, the crosswalks on all of those yeah. and um, working towards making those safe uh, along with um, the landscape in the middle and on the outsides of that and working on the water main and the sewer all those pieces coming together in there to yeah. make that um, a piece that's going to be long term for us. And I know we're getting very, very close to having that last leg completed. I don't have the exact date on that yet. So the total project cost to date was three three million six hundred seventy five thousand nine hundred seventy seven, which you said was below the estimate. Um, there is also a public assessment hearing set for October 18th. There is. That's coming up. Yeah. For more information about pavement management, please contact Project Engineer Ryan Burfine. <music>